Hey, it's Doris with Aldi Books, and it's time to get back on track with my haul revisit. So, if you aren't familiar, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Tower of Doom, unless this is your first time visiting me. You've heard Tower of Doom before on my videos. So, what the Tower of Doom is, is I had this idea last year that I wanted to get my TBR under control um, to, you know, a manageable level for me. We all have different ideas of what that level is, but for me. So uh, one way I tackled that was going through all of the books that I hauled in 2017. 2017 was the very first year that I was on BookTube. I started like mid-December of 2016, but 2017 was my year, and boy did I discover the joy of buying books. It was awesome, and I bought a lot. My TBR exploded. I went from having six physical books in my home that were all partially read to, I don't even remember, like well over 250, I think. It was a lot. Um, by my standards. Um, so yeah, so I last year went through all of my hauls on YouTube. So I looked at my channel and every month I would go through my hauls from that particular month from the year of 2017 and find all of those books on my shelves and I started piling them in the window. I don't know. That's It was a nice ledge, a place to store them that was, you know, off my desk, off my shelves. It worked for me, and then it became funny. And, you know, if something becomes funny, I just take it to the extreme. So now we have this Tower of Doom, which you're actually perched on right now. I'll show it to you in a minute if you haven't seen it, but yeah. So I have this Tower of Doom in the window that I'm still working on. I didn't finish reading all of those books, um, but I'm down to like, I think, I don't know, mid sixties of books that I bought in 2017 that I haven't read yet. So, you know, it's manageable. And one of my goals this year is to finish reading that stack. So I would like to make that a long-term goal to keep my books read three years out so I guess that's three years. So I, 2017, yeah, whatever. You, you do the math and figure it out for yourself. So this year, I want to finish reading all of those books that I bought in 2017. And I want to revisit all of the books that I bought in 2018. But that's not quite as easy because for various reasons, I did not do regular haul revisits in 2018. No, I didn't say that right. Um, hauls, just hauls. For some reason, I didn't film hauls consistently in 2018. So I can't like go back and look at all my hauls and know that I've gotten all the books I bought in 2018. Um, so there are some hauls, but not consistent. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and scan through all of those hauls from 2018 myself and make a comprehensive list of them. And then, um, then let me tell you what I'm going to do. So uh, I do want to keep up the practice of going through all of the books from two years back or three, whatever that is. Um, so this year I want to find all of the books that I bought in 2018. And start working on those. You know, it's keep 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 the books cycling through and keep myself familiar with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do shelf visits. So I have two physical TBR shelves over here that I'll show you soon. And I am there's two shelves, um, five and three, so eight shelves total. So starting in April, I'm going to go through one shelf, one, every month and decide, figure out when I bought those books or if I bought them in 2018. So I'll look at the list 
from my haul videos and I can look at publication dates and just guess if I need to. But yeah, I'm going to figure out which ones um, I bought in 2018 because there aren't any older than that because 2017 is you're on it. That's how I do. So I'm going to find all of the 2018 books and pull those out this year. And I'm going to do that by looking at the shelves one at a time um, each month, one shelf per month. And yeah, I think that'll be fun. So you'll be able to see how I organize my books and yeah. So let me go show you all of these shelves and piles of books and come up with a plan and get started. Okay, here are my TBR shelves. This one is fiction. And over here, we've got nonfiction and the good old TBR cart, which I had prior to all the rage. I had it as a crafting cart. Um, I emptied it out last year to make the TBR cart. And here is the Tower of Doom. So these are all the books that I bought in 2017 and have not read yet. Uh, this is the current TBR. So these are my South African reads and some other stuff I was supposed to be working on this month. And um, over there I've got a haul I need to film soon. So yeah. So what I did was just now I tidied the shelves. Look how nice they look. I love, I love, I love it. So I keep my books uh, organized thematically. So on this top shelf, I have um, Latin X, uh, which is a category that I'm working on growing this year. These are a couple short story collections. These are books that have been gifted to me. So this lovely was from Adam from Memento Mori when I went out to the Pacific Northwest. And Stephanie from Time to Read gave me that one on the same trip. And then uh, Heidi, I believe, sent me that one. And Charlotte from Tired Mama gave me that one. So yeah, and I have a couple more on um, themed shelves, I think. And then uh, these are these are Australian, and then these are translated. So there's that. This is kind of an eclectic shelf. This one is all my um, Black History Month titles there. And then down oop, down here, this is my Asian reads. And there are a few, I believe, um, nonfiction mixed in on my thematic shelf, actually. So there's that. And then these, we start getting more eclectic. Um, these are all UK and Canada and some other from around the UK there. And these are US. This is... Um, uh, what you call it, classics and modern classics. And then this is just big, you know, what you call it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, literary fiction, yeah. And, you know, random U.S. stuff. And then um, back here is, this is the fantasy aisle in there. And then we actually have a few mystery slash thrillers. So there you go. That's the fiction shelves. And then over here with nonfiction, I have memoirs and then these are like sociology and eclectic things. This is all natural history. So like the wonders of the natural world, dinosaurs, botany, microbiology. Uh, and then biology and history and civilization kind of thing. So yeah. So I used to keep my current month's TBR on this top shelf here and I really liked it. I could stand here and talk to you with my glasses glare and all my books were lined up so neat and tidy to start out the month and then they'd get, you know, 
Yeah. Yeah, I could keep it together here. I really liked that because you guys think I'm this relaxed, casual, go with the flow kind of person, and I am. I totally am. But I also have this rigid side of me, like, you know, the whole Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And yeah, unpopular opinion here, but I freaking hate this as a TBR card. I 100% hate it. When I had them all stacked upright, they were always flopping around and sliding. And I just aesthetically cannot deal. I cannot deal. It drives me batty. And I guess I could get some of the librarian metal bookend things but like that defeats the purpose um so yeah and I've tried the on the side method like Britta Bowler does and you know it's a little better but I'm still just not enjoying it at all <laughs> so yeah I just had to get that off my chest so this is going to become the cart of chaos. I think I took that expression from Jacqueline at six minutes for me. So all of the books that from 2018 that I get off my shelves will go into the cart of chaos. And I am planning on clearing this out. So the rule here, guys, the rule is books can come off the shelves and be read this year and new acquisitions can go on the shelves this year but the books cannot be rearranged between shelves if that makes sense because the only way I can track them is to know that they're staying there all year so the books that are currently on these shelves cannot jump around between shelves right now until the year is out until you know yeah you, you hear me that's that's how it's going to be, except with the exception of this shelf. So I am going to be reading these for Aussie April, and I'm focusing on translated works this year anyway, but I'm hoping to, within the next month or two, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this shelf in April, and then I'm going to do this shelf in May, and I'm hoping that I can maybe move read read down some of my asian literature and then move the latinx titles to share a space with the asian lit that's my plan because i got, i gotta have my shelf back for my this is my tbr shelf i need it back so yeah and then uh, the tower of doom is going to stay there for a while but i do want my window back <laughs> so i may uh, eventually when they get, it gets smaller, I may move it to the card of chaos as well. I'll keep you posted. All right. So there you go. I hope all that made sense. If it doesn't let me know, ask me questions below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye. How'd I do boo? Did you like that? Did I do a good job? Yeah.